how you saw it in the Masters where John Rahm places the club a few inches behind the ball to change the spin of the golf ball. We're going to talk about why Mo Norman did that on every single shot. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. Years ago, I was frustrated because I lost that. I was confused, I was frustrated, and then I met Mo Norman and learned the single plane swing. And so now, I wake up every day and I know I'm gonna hit it well, I know I'm gonna play well, I know I'm gonna have fun. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Why do you start the club back uh, so far from the ball? I don't need so many things. Everybody should do that. They hit the ball better. Really? You can't pick the club up. You can't take it outside. You were eliminating a foot in your swing that you can't, don't have to put into your game. Mm -hmm. And, I can't, I can't, and uh, my right shoulder already is in my turn. Oh, I see, yeah, that's right. See? Four things I eliminate. Mm hmm. See? Look at my right shoulder. Hey, it's already back. No, I'm going to take it outside unless I. Unless you sw sway. Oh, I. Yeah. <laughs> Look, watch. Hey, congratulations to John Rom for winning the Masters. And listen, one of the things you saw him talk about was how he places a club a few inches behind the ball to change his spin rates and change the path of the golf ball and the curvature. I want to talk about that because this is what you see Mo Norman do on every single swing. Now, let's talk about what mechanically you can do that's going to help your golf swing and why this might be beneficial for you. But first understand this one thing that John Rahm's natural golf shot is a left to right shot. He likes to control the ball. And I think it's great. Anytime you can control the spin of the golf ball and you know which way it's going, you can play great golf. So John plays a left to right shot. And I think it's important to note that it's important to have your natural pattern. I, I believe, and I, and I know what Mo Norman did, and my goal is to hit the ball perfectly straight. I think that's the pattern that you should spend your time practicing. However, at least have one shape. I think you get in trouble when you're trying to hit it all different shapes, one right, one left, one straight. That's when I think you have the most trouble playing golf. So learn a pattern. I recommend learning a straight pattern, but at least have one. That's the first note here from the Masters. Second thing is, let's talk about why he placed the club where he did. Now I want you to understand, you know, how is, how is placing the club at a certain place beyond the ball, changing the path of the club. Well, it's changing the position of the body, creating a, a different path of the arms. That's what's really happening, and, and the hands, by the way. It's changing the arms and hands path. Now, how is placing the club changing arm and hand path? Well, let's understand one thing. That if I'm gonna fade the golf ball, that path of that club's coming a little from the outside. If I'm gonna hit it straight, that's coming from an inside path and square face. So. This is a straight shot, this is a fade, right? And if I wanna hook it, I come more from the inside. Remember, you're naturally standing on the inside of the ball anyway, so there's always gonna be an arc to it. So there's this ideal path. There's this ideal path where the club comes in and it hits a straight shot. If I go outside that path, I'm gonna hit a fade. If I go too far inside that path, I'll hit a draw. Now, understanding how we have different paths of the club we have to understand that the hands are controlling the path of the handle of the club. So in other words, if I move my hands this direction, the club goes to the outside. If I move my hands this direction, the club comes from the outside. So when, when you place the club, when you take this club and you place it here, you're changing a, the head of the club in a different relationship to the handle. You're placing the hands more in front. So now the head comes from more from the inside. Now this is exactly what Mo did, but there's a little more to it than this. It's also putting the right shoulder into your turn because now the hands can make an inside path. Think of it this way. And I call it the club to body relationship. Let me kind of explain this. If I have the seven iron, you'll notice, and by the way, the club to body relationship for me and for Mo to hit a perfectly straight shot never changes. And here's what I mean by that. So when I set up with a seven iron, I'll put this driver down for just a second. And I'll, you'll notice that I'll have the club placed behind the ball, you know, it looks like four or five inches. And the handle points to my lead side. So when I set up here, you'll see how the handle points to the lead side of my body. 
Now, naturally, because the handle is on this side of my body, it goes to the inside. You can see how that goes slightly to the inside when I turn. If I had the handle back, okay, I'm just gonna exaggerate this. Here, notice when I turn, that club goes to the outside. See that club's on the outside. I move the handle forward, the club moves to the inside. So where the hands and handle are, relation change the path. This is what John was doing when he talks about putting the club behind the ball. Now notice with my seven iron, the club to body relationship, because of stance within ball position, the club's not that far back. It's only a few inches. Now watch this. If I grab this driver and I place the club and my stance is wider and the ball is more forward, this club's in the same position the seven iron was, except now you see the club's eight inches or a foot behind the ball. So it's the same club to body relationship where now notice the club again moves naturally to the inside, whereas if I move the handle backwards, it will naturally move to the outside. Does that make sense? Because of the club head to the handle relationship as I turn. Mo put his right shoulder into the turn, and he talked about this a lot, and this is what you see John doing too. When you take that club and you put it back, it starts putting this shoulder into the turn and the handle more forward, and now the club can make an inside path. So what can you take from this? And I think it's important to understand that the geometry of this is very important. Mo Norman did not place the club back here to be different. He did it because he could create the most natural path of the club. Let me repeat that. Mo put the club behind the ball because it created the natural position of the club to body to create a natural path of the club. So we must discuss what is the natural path of a golf club. And that's why when you see Mo in this position, you can see it on every video, he has the club placed behind the ball. The natural movement of the club is to the inside because this, if you just attach the club to the lead side of your body and watch it turn to the inside. And then you'll get a natural path and that's the path the hands will travel down to strike the inside part of the ball and hit it dead straight. This is exactly what John Rahm is figuring out. He even mentioned Mo Norman in his clip. So it really comes down to how your, your hands and the club are relation, or the, the relation of the hands to the club in the backswing so you can make the hands lead into the downswing. Those of you who are having trouble in slicing the golf ball, it's because the, the, the club head is getting in front of the hands somewhere in the swing versus the, the club head staying behind the hands in the swing. All right, so let's take a look now at a swing. So I'm gonna set up, the handle is way forward. I have the handle in front, club divided relationship. What I don't want you to do is just, is just place the club back like that, that's a mistake. Don't just place it back here. You need to tilt it back, right shoulder into the turn, tilt it back, club sitting correctly on the ground, and now you have a nice natural path of the club. And it, it produces this really nice shallow path of the club. That's what John has figured out. If he wants to take the shape of the shot and move it from left to right into a straight or right to left pattern, he simply changes the handle to head relationship to get a natural path from the inside. I hope that gives you some advice and why you probably should place the club behind the ball, especially if you're a single plane golfer. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's content. Look, if you're interested in learning more about the single plane swing and the natural swing of Mo Norman and why he did what he did, you can learn it all in our pocket guide. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll also put a link in the comments below where you can download our pocket guide and learn everything you need to know about the single plane swing. Thanks for joining me. Click the bell icon, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.